everybody. Welcome to episode number six of The Janky Show. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Janky. And sorry I missed last week, everybody. Had to take a personal day. <laughs> Not really. But I'm back, and we have so much to talk about, so let's get to it. Last night was the finale of American Idol. Our newest American Idol was crowned, Mr. Chris Allen. Yay! <laughs> and uh, it was such an awesome show. They put on an amazing two hours. You know, there was like two minutes that were actually like, who's the American Idol? But the rest of it was awesome. Not really feeling the little ensemble numbers. <laughs> Bringing back peeps that I hadn't even remembered, like, oh, yeah, that was that dude that was, like, in the very beginning. I forgot about them by now, you know, and probably could have done without seeing Megan. <laughs> she is such a train wreck. Uh, but they had some really cool guests, the Black Eyed Peas, and that boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you like that? That move right there? Yeah. <laughs> they were awesome. Fergie was pretty cool. Uh, Rod Stewart. How old is Ron Stewart? Seriously. Wow. He was doing some, like, crazy river dance clogging thing. <laughs> kind of creepy, Rod Stewart. Actually, really creepy. Um, but that was really cool. I was super stoked to see Chris win. I mean, Adam is obviously already, like, a superstar. So it's going to be awesome to see how both of their careers pan out. And I'm really excited to hear Chris Allen's album. Can't wait to buy it. He's awesome. Uh, there were some finales that happened last week that I really didn't get to talk about since I didn't do a show. <laughs> so, um, Celebrity Apprentice. Joan Rivers was crowned the Celebrity Apprentice. Go, Joan! And I'm so glad she won. She literally beat the devil <laughs> because Annie Duke is evil and um, must be shocked. Just kidding. But she really is the devil, I'm pretty sure. And the Amazing Race was awesome. Um... Tammy and Victor, like, lawyers who went to Harvard, really? How, why do they even let them on? Like, they should be giving the money to people who need it on these shows. And really, two lawyers from Harvard, do they really need the, mil the million dollars? Is it half a million or a million? Either way, do they really need that much money? I'm thinking no. I really wanted Margie and Luke to win. I really thought they had a chance, and then they got to that last detour, and, ugh, it was heartbreaking. But I still say they did such an awesome job. My sister and I were going to audition for The Amazing Race like two years ago, I think it was. Maybe less. I don't know. No concepts of time. And um, it was this crazy place that they had it, like up in the hills of Sacramento. It was like a two-hour drive. We couldn't find the freaking place. You had to fill out like this 15-page life story application. And by the time that we got there, they weren't letting anybody else in. What? We were so bitter. So I boycotted last season, but I checked it out this year, and I'm really glad I did because it was awesome. Also this week, um, Survivor. They had the sole survivor, J.D. Oh, I love J.D. He's so sweet, little southern boy, and I was super stoked that he won because he was just a normal guy and seemed really sweet. Unanimous vote. That was awesome. Uh, what else? So you think you can dance starts tonight? Very excited. So you think you can? I have my own music in my head. I don't need music to be playing to get my dance on. That's how I roll. Anyway, that starts tonight. I'm really stoked. There's a kid from Fresno who might or might not be on it. We're not sure. We'll have to wait and find out. Um, hopefully he says he's from Fresno. I don't know. We'll see. I'll tell you more as I find out more, okay? From my what? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I was going to start to say something. And, anywho, um, what else? Scrubs got renewed for another season. Yay! One of my favorites. I love Scrubs. Um, so they're coming back for another season. I guess JD is going to be gone, and I love Zach Braff. But it's still an awesome show, so definitely watch that. My name is Earl has been canceled, and they're doing this really cool thing on Twitter. It's called Earl's Twitition. If you look it up on Twitter, backslash Earl's Twitition. And it's basically a petition that they're just doing through Twitter. So you can sign up and follow and say how much you love the show. And I think that's really awesome because back in the day, I know you guys remember the show, My So-Called Life, Claire Danes, Jared Leto, before he was all, like, crazy singer dude. Oh, gosh. Jordan Catalano. Come on. 
They canceled that show, and I literally, a piece of my heart broke. Seriously. I'm still scarred from that. But they didn't have something cool like Twitter where people could show their support, and so that'll be really awesome if they can bring it back because put Twitter to good use, dang it. <laughs> um, my new favorite show that I really hope you guys are all checking out, and if you haven't seen it yet, go to Hulu, go to Fox.com. It's called Glee. It just aired on Tuesday night, the pilot episode, and it is awesome. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to see this show. It's not going to start until the fall, but it's being heralded as heralded, <laughs> heralded? Heralded is one of the best new shows to come out in a really long time by a lot of the entertainment industry. So everybody really likes it, and I'm sure you will too. The songs are still stuck in my head from it. It's just an awesome show. So check it out on Hulu or Fox.com. The name of the show is Glee. Also, if you get any of the, like, premium channels on Stars, there's a show called Party Down, which I really love too. So if you haven't seen Party Down, you should check that out. That's a great show too. Um, sports. Monday Night Football, I'm really stoked. No more Tony Kornheiser. I'm so excited. I can't stand that guy. John Gruden's replacing him. I don't really know how much I'm going to love him so much, but it means there's no Tony Kornheiser. I'm a happy camper. I love PTI, but I think I only love PTI because of Wilbon, so Tony Kornheiser was just sort of a train wreck on Monday Night Football, and... Also, on that note, I guess John Madden is retiring from Sunday Night Football, so it'll be interesting to see who replaces him. And also we have the NBA playoffs, the Eastern and Western Conference Finals are going on right now. Not really. Not really, like right now, but, you know, later this evening. Later this evening it'll be the Lakers and the Nuggets, um, and in the East it's the Magic and the Cavs, and they both had really awesome Game 1s. But I'm really hoping the Nuggets can pull off a win tonight. Come on, Mello. You and that dude that you play with that has, like, the crazy mohawky thing happening, <laughs> get on it. Um, I think his name's Anderson. <laughs> He's a freak. But I really hope the Nuggets win and the, Ma the Magic Cavs game. Um, gosh, I don't even know who to root for. I mean, there's my boy LeBron, but Dwight Howard, I really think that dude might actually be Superman. Breaking the shot clock like he did? Well, he didn't really break it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, so those are the NBA playoffs that are happening right now. Also, some new music came out yesterday. Um, Matt Carney, one of my faves. His new album is called Black and White. I really like it. Um, his single, Closer to Love, it's really cool. You should check that out on iTunes. Oh, also, Glee, all of Glee's songs, the songs from Glee, the show, are available on iTunes, so you can pick those up. That's, I already bought one because <laughs> I'm obsessed already. And Elliot Yamin, my boy Elliot from American Idol, his uh, latest album just came out last week. Last week, two weeks ago. It's pretty cool. It's called um, uh, Fight Fight for Love. <laughs> I have to check my notes. Sad. Fight for Love. Yes, I have notes. <laughs> it's true. I just gave away one of my secrets. Um, what else? I just want to say a big out to my boy Maxwell. He's going to be hosting the Miss Ohio Beauty Pageant. And so I think that's really awesome. Congratulations. I'm so stoked for you. I know that's going to be so sweet. You're going to have some super great stories, I'm sure. I'm sure of it, all the beauty queens. Um, I just want to say big congratulations to all my friends that are graduating college um, this week, next week, in the coming weeks. Congratulations, guys. I know it's so much hard work, and um, I just am really proud of all of you guys. It's awesome. And what else? Um, my, sh my my boy Billy wanted me to give him a shout out. So what up, Bill Dog? <laughs> How's it going in LA? I bet it's not as beautiful as up here in Tahoe. Did I mention that I'm in Tahoe? Hmm. I wonder if I could get like a shot. Let me see if I can do. I think that's all I want to say for the Janky Show. I'm gonna do a going out shot. It's gonna be like the view because I tried to get, go outside and set up and it just didn't happen. <laughs> So I'll just leave you with a cool shot of Tahoe. But thanks for watching the Janky Show. I hope everybody has a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Take a little time to remember those that have fought for our country. And um, have yourselves a great weekend, a great three-dayer. 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 Okay, so here's a shot of um, Tahoe. Let me see if I can. See. Follow me, follow me. I just ran into the lamp. Okay, let's see. There's Tahoe. This is actually um, Carson Valley. But this is the view. It's pretty sweet. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.